There are road signs. There are storefront signs. And then, there are eye candy signs. Based in Halifax, Nova Scotia, eye candy signs makes all kinds of signs. Whether you want a sign for your storefront, wayfinding signs for your office building, or perhaps something a little more unique, eye candy can do it all. The first stage in any sign making project is design. Eye Candy's designers use a huge variety of materials and techniques to create any type of sign based on their clients' needs. The designers use computer programs like Illustrator and Photoshop to make the initial designs. They then format them for a variety of software packages that are used to send the files to lasers, CNC or computer numerical control machines, or printers, depending on the project. Wayfinding signs are used in large buildings to help people find everything from hotel rooms to washrooms or emergency staircases. And Eye Candy has a very unique system for creating these signs. Photopolymer plastics are used to create three-dimensional raised signage as if it was printed on a three-dimensional printer. This technique also allows them to easily include raised braille lettering on all the signage. Photopolymer plastic is a two-layered acrylic material. The base layer is a typical hard acrylic plastic, while the top layer is a softer photo or light-sensitive material. First, the sign maker needs a black and white image. This can be anything from a simple letter to a more intricate design. Once the image is loaded onto the computer, it's sent to a large format printer. The printer uses only black ink on a thick clear acetate. The clear area of the acetate is where the raised part of the signage will be. Once the design has been printed and checked, the sign maker removes the polymer from a dark protective plastic bag. And cuts it to the required size using a guillotine. Once the polymer and printed design are ready, the design is placed onto the soft photosensitive side of the plastic. A vacuum seal is then placed on top to ensure no light leaks over the covered areas. Finally, the sign is placed under a UV light for approximately five minutes. The light will harden the exposed material while leaving the unexposed material soft. Once hardened, the printed design is removed and the sheet of polymer is placed in a special water solution to be washed for about six minutes. This washing cycle will remove all the unexposed soft polymer, leaving a raised design. Once the wash cycle is complete, the material is cleaned, dried, then placed back under the UV light to ensure the entire piece is hardened correctly. Next, it's cut to size and made ready for painting. 
Although the bottom layer of the polymer material can come in a number of designs, most signs are spray painted in the paint booth. Eye Candy can paint signs in any number of colors and will mix custom colors if required. Once the paint is dry, usually overnight, the sign maker uses a specially heated press and thin heat sensitive foil to cover the raised design, creating a clear and easy to read wayfinding sign. More complex signage requires more complex tools, and iCandy Signs has lots of those. The CNC machine provides lots of creative possibilities and uses rotating bits to cut everything from shapes and designs to textures such as wood. Most signs are built from either 3 quarter inch PVC plastic or a material called high density urethane or HDU. HDU comes in a variety of thicknesses and is both easy to cut and very weather resistant. Here we see a house sign being cut and carved out of PVC. The CNC machine is able to router out the design and then, once the bit has been changed, cut out the final shape. Once the CNC machine has done its work, a sign maker paints the entire sign. In this case, black paint is used. Once the paint has fully dried, the areas that will remain black are protected by a vinyl covering. On this sign, the sign maker is using 23 karat gold leafing on the numbers. First, a bonding material called sizing is painted onto the sign. This will provide a tacky surface for the leafing to adhere to. Once the sizing is dry, the sign maker places the gold leaf on top and brushes it into all the grooves. The finished gold leaf does not need to be protected as it will outlast any protection that is applied. Once the leafing is complete, the protective vinyl is peeled away to reveal the finished sign. If the detail of the CNC machine just isn't detailed enough for you, iCandy also has a laser printer for fine details that can be used on many materials, such as wood or even glass. This isn't any typical office laser printer. This is an actual laser that burns a design directly onto almost any material.